Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at five new free applications in the App Store. <clears throat> so let's dive right in. First one we want to look at is Batman. This is by Warner Brothers and it's a pretty cool application. If you are a fan of the Dark Knight, you will, will definitely enjoy playing this game. Uh, it's simply just a tap the screen type of gameplay. It's not really anything that requires a great deal of skill, but it is a lot of fun to play. So let's take a look at some of the graphics, which I think are phenomenal. And based on what I have read and can gather, this application will coincide with something on the PlayStation 3, and you can actually unlock items on the PlayStation 3 by playing this game. So as you can see here, I've already been playing a little bit, a little bit. it says tap to start. That's pretty much how it loads up. You've got different skills, assault stance, got a guarded stance that you can uh, upgrade and your upgrades cost you coins that you earn by simply, uh, you can either buy them in the app store or you can complete these missions. So let's go ahead and look at one of these missions here and let you see what it looks like inside when you play. So you see right here we're coming into the to the uh, fight right off the bat. There's not really a whole lot that you can uh, tap the screen and it and it'll show you what to do there. You see it tells me to swipe up. Two fingers on the screen gives you a block, which is pretty really awesome. And like I said, this is the Dark Knight. Uh, the link will be in the description below. The next one I'm going to share is called CSR Classics. This one just came out this week. And if you're a fan of CSR Racing, this just gives you more of a classic type game where you can uh, play with classic cars, I should say, older cars. You can upgrade them, you can uh, restore them, paint them, uh, put different motors in them, exhaust, add nitrous, you can do all different sorts of things. And the race is very simple and, and pretty awesome actually. Uh, I really enjoy the races. So let me show you what it looks like here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and restore that if you want to restore the level 2 game on. Right. So let's go ahead and let me show you what some of this looks like. Uh, we'll go into some of the uh, cars here. You can see it's loading up my cars. I only have a couple cars right now. this old beat up in here so let's go ahead and race this guy it's a crew battle for two thousand dollars and, and probably i'm not going to win because these guys have got really nice cars and i'm just wanting to show you what it looks like on the race you simply got a steering wheel at the bottom of the screen and you just tap the screen Okay, you touch the gas pedal over here to go. is paint it black this is a puzzle game and it's pretty awesome uh, I wanted to try to add something a little bit different in here because it seems like I'm always just doing some type of uh, games and I wanted to, to get something you know that was sort of an application I guess you could say but this is still a game but it's a puzzle game 
so let's go in here and you see I've painted several different pictures on the wall here so let's go ahead and paint the ostrich and you'll see what I'm talking about it shows you you got so many blocks you have to fill in so you got four blocks down and this is gonna be a hard one because normally I've had the five blocks where you could paint everything this is the last picture in the training hall mm, it's gonna be a hard one So one across is filled, and this one here isn't, seem like it's not letting me paint right. So let's go ahead and hit that. That was a no-no. So I guess it was up here. So I guess you're getting the idea. So that's another no-no. In, and it'll show you where to and here no nope. it's pretty hard actually one down, two across, three, four across, no, nope. that should be it. So there's my ostrich, and you get a sense of what it looks like right there in the photo. Sorry it took so long, it's pretty hard to get that one. That's called Paint It Black. Next one is an oldie but goldies type game I used to play growing up called Galaga, but this is called Galaxoid, and it's a pretty awesome game, guys. Uh, you tap the left side of the screen to move, to the right side of the screen to shoot. every time to shoot. You can't just hold it down. Which has been some people have a lot of arguments about that, but some say it would mess up the uh, Level one, that's called Galaxoid. That's that's hard. To, uh, it's an addictive game, Galaxoid. Dead Pixel is another game that's sort of a puzzle type. It's by Chillingo. And it says to use the headphones, but we're not going to be doing that. It's this little, uh, you get this little straight thing here, and you have to move left and right. And you have to barely touch these things. See, my, my little uh, thing got smaller there. And you can just barely touch the side of them. See, it grew larger, but I'm goofed it up. Done got beat. Uh, so there's five games, guys. 
Uh, and just for an extra one to throw in here, Space Pong is one I enjoy playing personally. It's free as well. And it's sort of like ping pong in, in, in space, I guess you could say. But uh, I think you'll enjoy playing it too. So let's go ahead and let you see what it looks like. One person. And we're on level four. You just simply move back and forth here. those little things like that it makes your your little instrument down there larger I don't know what that's called but those will make you smaller though you have to look at which way the arrows are pointing okay if you hit those it'll, it'll make you larger if you hit the others, it'll make you smaller. That one there will make you larger. It's pointing outward. Though that this one here next to me will make you smaller. So that's ping pong in space. It's called space pong. So there are six awesome ones, guys. Grab them in the links below. Hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.